whole life has been based on that. Come know, on, let's take it. Let's take one. Let's take one. Very interesting in life, just mm. basically because I believe in this man out there. Um, critical example is me putting a, t a challenge to him, like my mom always does. My mom will challenge God, like my father. I'm talking to you directly. If you don't do this and do this, um, I'll be very disappointed. You know. So when I wanted to come out um, as an artist, I think I used to hang around a bunch of guys who gave me advice on how people make it in the industry in, in the music industry they're talking about some scary stuff that i know the background i'm coming from there's no way that i can I, that that means it's literally a no for me i can't be a star i can't do what i want what i'd really love to do because they were talking about you know going to certain places to drink this type of water and then you know, meet somebody they will have something that you do and then people will love your music they'll follow you i'm like um the whole like you know she would be watching somewhere but i'm old i can do whatever i want same with Christianity. So I felt even if you thought about going somewhere to seek help, your mom would realize it. Mm. You know, so that fear was there. But then I had to trust God. I said, this, this is what they're telling me. My mom presented me to you and said, my mom told me that when she had birth, she told God, I'm not taking care of this child. You are. Mm. So if anything, the outcome of this child is your works. It's your responsibility. Exactly. So I, I, I also asked him, <coughs> So, Daddy, this is the situation. This is what I want to do. Mm. But these are the things they're saying I have to do. But I know it goes against your word, mm. and I can't do it. So, you have to prove to them that it's possible, that you can do it without it. So, everybody else, but there's a lot of people, even now, there are underground artists who still believe in that whole uh, idea of you need to go somewhere for protection. Someone has to do something for you to blow. I think it's there. It exists. I've not been there, but I think the fact that you're even talking about it means it's there. Mm. But as a child of God, um, you need to believe, you know, in your faith. And that is what I did for a year. I asked him, there was a particular, I don't remember which year, but there was a particular <coughs> year that I asked him that if it doesn't happen, then I might have to back out. Because I was young, I was vulnerable. Someone is telling me this is how, this, this and that and that, they made it. If you don't do it, it's not going to happen. Mm. So that's same what, year, uh, what age was that? You remember what, how old were you I was, at that I was time? Pretty, I was pretty young. I was very young. Was you were beyond 18. Uh, I think I might be a little bit beyond that, beyond 80, yes. But I was still vulnerable, you know. You hang, those are the ages you talk to friends a lot, yeah. You know, you yeah. hang around with them a lot, yeah. so whatever they say, you believe, yeah. and they are so sure of themselves when they speak, so so convincing, yeah. You know, but from the home I come from, you can't even think of that as an option, you know. So I gave God, you know, that year. If that didn't happen, I was going to go back to do. Uh, a normal job like anybody else I wanted to do I was into graphic designing so probably I would do like I'll go to an office design billboards or whatever mm. but that same year you know things started picking up you know people started liking me I was on radio shouts to Adam FM you know people would go to it and they, they would call and like, almost everything I do like I'll be the first person I'll always come out first like people and when people see you, they want to have more of you mm. can you call that same guy I want to have a show just gradually 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 and I became you know, I, I think it's still happening, but at mm. that point, I became what I wanted to be, and even more, and you know, taking all these awards, and this is by just literally just doing the music and doing what I love, mm. but it still happened. Mm. You know, so then I was like, nah, mm. you know, this is this, this, this the is, hand of God. And and when people ask me how you do it, and when I say go, when you say God, that is the normal sense, but it's very serious. It's literally God. It has nothing to do with you because mm. my experience mm. i know i have nothing to do with what, what is happening mm -hmm. i'm doing my bit as i'm working hard but i know people who work 10 times harder than i do you know but maybe their state of mind is not helping them mm -hmm. you know the, their beliefs um it makes them have a reaction towards even the hustle mm. that drags it for a very long time but i believe he's working and i believe in if, even if I, even um, as humans like i have a daughter now if my daughter praises me to be the strongest person i'll act like it because i need to you know, impress that. If yeah. my daughter says, daddy is a hero, my daddy will beat you. I, we actually have a joke. That's my, my camera guy. <laughs> my daughter likes to bully him a lot. So oh, okay. daddy, uh, Uncle Derek is worrying me. Go and beat him. And I show up. I just act like I'm beating Derek. And I could, I could see how happy how she is. How excited she Exactly. So I can imagine that's how God works when you, when you throw the challenge and believe that it's going to happen. It did happen. You guys know the history already took the five awards from that time you know went to the BET did almost everything that artists would, would pray for and this is just with God throwing a challenge to him and he, and he delivered and nothing else yes just God <laughs> right so if you're just tuning this is hit 103.9 FM 